ABC News exclusive this morning. The family of an American husband and grandfather believed to be held captive by Al Qaeda is now speaking out for the first time. Their emotional interview comes after seeing the new video of their husband and father on it, his dramatic plea, fearing he's been forgotten, along with his direct appeal to the president for help. This morning, this video is all a Maryland family has as they prepare to usher in the new year without a husband, without a grandfather. These newly released images, the first proof in more than a year that Warren Weinstein is still alive. The 72-year-old was working as a consultant in Pakistan on community projects when more than two years ago, gunmen stormed his apartment and took him captive. It's now believed he's being held by al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawari. When he looked straight into that camera and said, it seems that I have been totally abandoned. It seems that I have been totally abandoned and forgotten. I wanted to die right there on the spot because he has no idea how hard we've tried to get him back. But there's nothing to do to get him back because they don't really tell you what they want. The funny thing is that I always take him to the airport and I always pick him up and he sees my lip begin to quiver and he says, oh, please don't cry. And that was the last time I saw him. His grandchildren, they miss him? Oh, yes. Ask him, mother. Constant. Our daughter, we finally had to tell her, and that was, I think, one of the hardest things ever, because that little brain of hers, the seven-year-old, to ask the questions she had to ask. What did she ask? You know, my birthday's coming. Is he going to be home for this one? And you know, how do you answer that for a kid? You really, and it's such a burden on them at such a young age to have to. <laughs> After wonder if their grandfather's okay. You know, in my heart, I know he's coming home. I try to tell them that, but you know, it's it's just really hard for them to be able to understand why this happened to him. And her son, just a toddler, had figured out how to Skype with Grandpa before he went missing. He was sitting at the computer. He figured out how to Skype Grandpa. <laughs> and he was, <laughs> he was talking to him. Now their only way to see him is through that video. What would you say to him if you could? Um, I would just tell him how much I miss him. Sorry. I would just tell him that I love him and that I think about him every day. He ends the video with a plea to all of you. I think about each and every one of you every moment of every day. And I think about each and every one of them every moment of every day. It's just about the same way here, every moment of every day. We're thinking about that wife, those two daughters, and their bravery coming forward this morning. The State Department now saying they're working to authenticate the video, reiterating their call that Warren Weinstein be released and return to his family, and let's hope it's this year. Amy. Yes, our thoughts and prayers certainly with all of them. Thank you, David.